It's not moving. Hey, what's up, guys? Lucius T here. Happy 2016. So I originally had planned on starting the new year with the secrets of Happy Hippo Island. Um, I actually bought this game for 2 and Gen as we have a little bit of a history with hippos, but unfortunately doesn't work on Super Game Boy. So I learned something. So I ordered the uh, GameCube player, so that should be getting here pretty soon, and then I can talk about this game. But that's not going to stop me. So the game we're talking about, which you can tell because it is the title, I kind of like that. Uh, it, this is a game I was really excited about. It's been said that it's sort of a Contra Castlevania Resident Evil type mix. It's an action platformer, and it's pretty cool. Let's uh, not waste any more time. Now, as you noticed, I'm not wearing my trademark suit. That is because I'm doing a new theme this year, and that is Ugly Christmas Sweater All Year, baby! Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm still doing the suit thing. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, the game we're talking about is King of Demons by KSS. Whoever the hell that is, I thought it looked like Kiss. So, King of Demons, it's a, I'd say it's an action platformer. It starts off, you're this dude with a white shirt and a bandana on it. Yo. Hey, yo. And your best friend sacrifices your family so that he can become a demon. Ah, yo, you killed my family, that's messed up. I don't know why I'm talking like this, or why I'm... What accent is this anyways? It's a short game, there's only five levels, and after you beat each level, it gives you a choice of upgrading yourself to a demon. I don't understand, why am I still... I shouldn't I have some red demon makeup or something? And I picked the red crystal twice. Oh, I see a red crystal, I better get it without checking and seeing if it changes into any other crystals. But how would I know? Probably just the one crystal. That's the upgrade. I, 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 who would know? And then the third time, I was just thinking I'd get some of the sound effects for editing. And then the crystal changed colors, and I hit it then, and then I turned into a different demon. And then that let me think, well, I wonder if there's another one, and yes, there was. So they're actually kind of like Altered Beast. At the end of every level, you can decide to change into a different demon. So you got the red demon, which is the harpy, the green demon, which is kind of a laser shooting guy, and then the blue demon is a dragon. And each one of them has their own attack style, and I gotta say, I really did not care much for the harpy, with the stupid Jekyll and Hyde shooting where it shoots off and it doesn't shoot straight. I had much more fun with the other two. See this bandana? Right, that means I'm an action hero, and you are gonna be an action zero. That makes sense. The way the upgrades work is that if you get the same crystal three times in a row, you get the ultimate form of that crystal, or if you get each crystal sequentially, so if you go red, green, blue, then after that you can get a platinum crystal, which will turn you into the ultimate demon form. I didn't get either of those. I didn't get any of that. That's what I'll be having. The storyline, your daughter gets captured, your wife gets sacrificed, and then your wife comes back as a fairy companion, which is kind of a... Think of it like a fairy in Legend of Zelda. If you die, it brings you back to life. But it only lasts once, and you get maybe three of them through the entire duration of the game. Take that to the bank and smoke it. What happens in the game is the more points you get, your character levels up. So you can level up his life bar, and you can also level up his lives. You know, it's not without its faults. There was a, there's definitely some frustration factor in here. Of course, every single one of these games, when you get hit, you gotta fall back. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna die instantly. That's just what's gonna happen. But you, I did get lucky a few times, and there's some memorable set pieces in there. It's very violent, very violent, and a lot of 
a lot of demonology, and that's, I mean, it's probably why we didn't get it. It came out in 95, and it was very much a religious nightmare. Yo. That green guy looks like some dude. Deep Thoughts with Bandana Man. Who now sounds Jamaican. I need to get better accent. You can apparently get two different endings. I got the bad ending because I didn't get the ultimate demon form, but there is a good ending. I'm not going to show you either one of them. They really, what's the point? On the scale of emulate it, repro it, or skip it, I give this a strong repro it. This is a great game to have. It very much fits in that vein of a Contra Castlevania. That's pretty much what it is. You're not quite running and gunning as much as you would be in Contra, but the difficulty isn't quite where it is in Castlevania. And rating-wise, I give this game an 8.5. It's not great. It's good. There's a lot lacking with it if you want to get real ticky-tacky, which I normally don't. But as far as a good Super NES experience, solid game. Very good game. And you want to yourself to play it. So, play it. That's your homework. Well, there you go, King of Demons. Pretty good game. I was definitely looking forward to it, and I was not disappointed. So, that's the end of this episode. But, hey, I will be back next time, maybe with a little hippo surprise. Just saying. But anyways, guys, as 2 Jen says, Happy New Year. Yeah, she's trying to throw something at me right now. What the hell?